Hi, today I'm going to talk about how to use the lookup function to create a lookup filter. So uh, I'm still going to use the sample store as an example. So uh, for example, let's take a look at the subcategory. Here is a list of subcategory in, uh, in this superstore. So let's say now I'm interested, now let's uh, create a set for um, for this subcategory. So let's say I select these three and I can click here to create a set that include only these three subcategories. Like let's call it sub uh, set A. And then let's say I'll call the um, these four. Um, let's call them set B. These four set C. Then the rest for set D. So we further break down the subcategory or we actually combine the subcategory into four different categories uh, into four different sets e even if the, um, the category only has three um, three um, uh, different group so uh, using set we can create a dy or uh, customize uh, uh, grouping so here we can see that uh, the four, these are the four sets that we defined it, that we wanted to, we wanted to define it. And now I'm going to create a parameter to uh, to connect it to the lookup filter as a lookup uh, look, uh, as a lookup filter. So let's say we call this select a set. We use a string list, and then we type in all the um, choices allowed for user. Okay, so we have four sets here. So the parameter will is um, will allow user to filter from, and then we need to create a um, connector to connect the cur uh, parameter with um. With the view. So let's say case. So, like a set when um, set A, then int set. So, uh, when we create a set, it is actually a truth for a statement uh, to check if a, if a subcategory it is within set A or no. So when we look, at, when we do the, when we uh, get the integer for set A, it means for all the true value we get one. For all the false that is not within the group, we will get a zero. So that's uh, what the uh, the int function is doing here. Okay. Set B. Uh, make sure when you type in the text, uh, this part uh, you have to um, to be exactly type um, type at, as the string that you that you listed in the parameter. Otherwise, your connect your parameter will not be connected to the filter, or your uh, parameter will not work um, in in your view. So this is what I mean. You need to type in exactly what you just type in when you create a parameter. Otherwise, it will not be connected between the parameter with the view. Okay. So. Connector. So when you drag in the connector, um, wait a second. Since, um, Let's make it as a dimension. So it's either zero or one. So it's either it is in the group or out or not in the group. So let's say. So if when I'm selecting set A, only um, the first um, three subcategories it is within 
set A. So that means um, it is in the in it is uh, the one that we want to select. So for set B, only these four are um, in, are, are are getting one, which means it is out, which indicate or flag as in the group. So if we bring the connector, which is a dimension, and then we only want those one, which is in the group. So only the one that will be included. Okay. So what uh, a lookup filter will do is that to further filter uh, for the different for a sub in this case subcategory within your set. So now let's create a lookup uh, filter. Okay. We are looking up subcategory and offset zero. So if by doing that you will, you you will like very likely to get an error message. Since um, Subcategory is uh, is not an aggregate level, but lookup function is the but your view is an aggregate. So so even for accessory, let's say there are mo there, there should be multiple rules for this one. So you cannot just simply look up for one. Um, you have to look up for the attribute, just like um, for all the sub subcategory. Just look up uh, just look up uh, the attribute for uh, for for one type. So now the calculation is valid. Make sure you understand uh, the um, your data or your record, like the data structure, record level, um, before you're using lookup or the table calculation. Okay. Select everything or um, use all. And then show filter. So here, so when you, okay, let me bring this, um, Lookup filter here. Okay. So when you select set A, only the filter, only the subcategory within field, uh, set A will be will, will will show here. So let's say we look at set B. So the filter, so the subcategory within set B will show here. So first of all, you allow user to select a different different uh, major uh, grouping. And then you can select um, the, the value within this grouping uh, while ignoring or not showing the other filter or the other subcategory that's unrelated in this set. So this is the way how you can create a lookup filter using uh, set uh, parameter and then a lookup function. Thank you very much.